The Mizzou football Tigers are in control of their own destiny in the SEC win out and believe it or not, Missouri would return to the SEC championship game in Atlanta in early December. Tigers off this week following that 20 to 10 win over Kentucky. The offense showing some signs of life, but it is still the defense that is leading this Tiger charge in three straight wins over Florida, Vandy and Kentucky and solid special teams too. Missouri is now seven and two overall four and one in league play. That is a half game better than Georgia, who is now four and two, having lost to Florida. So with three games left for Missouri, all winnable at Texas A&M a week from the Saturday, a 630 start in College Station, then a road game at Tennessee and a home game against Arkansas. Gary Pinkle and Tigers are in the SEC East driver's seat. Our next goal is to be 2-0 in November. That's what we want to do. So, you know, we, November's a big thing around here. And, uh, you know, a and a very good football team. So we'll get a bye week, get some rest, which is nice. Uh, you probably couldn't create it any better than we have right here, you know. And, and, but, you know, it's, it's going to get tougher and tougher. Well, one thing is there's nothing easy this year. So there's, you know, it's just one of those years that you got to battle and fight. So we get that. We just have to make sure we watch what we're doing and make sure we're improving throughout the week, especially this bye week. Take advantage of it. Make sure your body's ready to go. More honors for Tiger defensive end Shane Ray named the SEC defensive lineman of the week for the third time this season. He's also a semifinalist for the Benaric Award given to college football's top defensive player. Ray is one of 20 candidates. He broke the Missouri single season record for sacks on Saturday. Now with 12, the SEC record is 15. As the football season winds down, the college hoop season tips off this month to local rivals going Head to head in Columbia tonight. Bob Burchard and the Cougars from Columbia College opening the season with the Screaming Eagles from Central Methodist from Fayette. Quick start off the tip. About three seconds into the season, Tanner Sutton lays it in for Columbia. Can't score much faster than that. Former Jeff City J. Scott Stegman hits a jumper for Central Methodist. And Helias grad Zach Rockers nails the three. And look who's in the crowd. Grandpa Ray Henches along with some Rockers. Columbia's Malik Ray, strong move to the hoop there for the big jam. Zach Rockers end up with 10 points after missing last season due to injury. Columbia rolls on to the 70-52 win. Two teams will meet later this month in Fayette. High school basketball practices are underway in Missouri. This was the first day allowed by the state. Among the local coaches changing jobs, Greg Bisher is now in charge at Mexico High School. Bisher won a state title at Sturgeon, where he coached for the past eight years. He takes over for Brendan Scanlon, who is now at Sedalia Smith Cotton. Number one, I, I love being in the gym, love coaching the game of basketball. Uh, we've really got a good, good group of kids, really neat kids. Uh, and, and there's quite a bit of ability there, too. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting in and getting started. It has been a great sports year at Mexico High so far with the softball team making the final four. The football team has a school record nine wins. Many of the Bulldog basketball players are still on the football field preparing for a district championship game against Helias this Friday night. And the Helias High School volleyball team is still celebrating the school's first ever state title in that sport over the weekend. Elias beat Villa Duchenne in three sets to claim that Class 3 title at the Show Me Center here on the campus of Southeast Missouri State in Cape Girardeau. Saturday night at 43-0-1, Elias now holds the state record for the most wins by a high school volleyball team in any class. Our own KRCG sports columnist Tom Leffler has more on that amazing state championship run for Elias Catholic Volleyball.